So in this video, I'm going to try and answer the age-old question, what is the weather like here in Mallorca? Now, it is one of the most asked questions, whether it's on my YouTube channel or also on the Facebook group as well. We're always asked, what's the weather like? What's it going to be like? What's it going to be like next month? What is, is it going to be like on the Pacific date? Well, I can tell you now that we have access to basically all exactly the same resources that you are going to have as well if you're watching from back home. But I'm going to run through what these are to help you find out what the weather's going to be like if you're coming over here on a holiday. Now you can see I'm over here on Alcudia Beach. You can see that the sun is out. The sky is blue. It's very warm, hey? It's around 28 degrees. It's September already and there's a very light breeze blowing as well. But is it going to be like this every single day? Well, of course not, because we're also entering the time of year when the weather can get slightly changeable. Now, as you are well aware, we've had some big storms recently, particularly at the end of August when summer broke. Uh, you would have seen the video. If you haven't seen the video, check out my YouTube short feed it was quite spectacular we also had very high winds as well very recently too so often when we do get severe weather we do get alerted about that weather so what's the best way of finding out about these alerts well the first thing I would say is if you have a smartphone add your resort onto your your list of places where you want to know the weather to that way you can get a day by day rolling account of what the weather is actually like at the moment now the first caveat I have to give is often these weather forecasts just are not accurate I mean it could say it's going to be bright sunshine and we could have clouds it could say that it's not going to rain and we have a downpour it's not particularly accurate but this is a big problem with I think all weather centers in that often storms can't be predicted and I don't think anyone was really ready for that storm that we had at the end of August either. There wasn't the huge alerts as well that we had. I did get an alert on my iPhone. I did post about it on the Facebook group on the morning of the storm, but maybe that kind of warning was just going to be too late for many who are over here on holiday. But there is actually an option for you to activate alerts on your iPhone. So I don't know if it's the same for Android phones. It probably is, but you can actually use the setting to alert of, of any like extreme weather that we're going to get. So if anything like a big storm does kick off and you're over here on holiday then you're going to be notified about that as well and, and also follow that advice too because quite often if we do get weather alerts well a lot of people don't pay attention to these weather alerts and they just carry on as normal. You remember right at the beginning of September as well when we did have the high winds I received a weather alert and I cancelled the live stream that I was going to do that day as well and I'm glad I did because the winds were spectacularly high and the palm trees were blowing and it wasn't the kind of weather conditions that I particularly wanted to go out in so if you do sign up for these alerts just make sure you follow the advice given now just to give a final word here about storm warnings that you may get whether on the weather forecast or through your app should you ignore them well no you shouldn't because for, quite frankly people have died during storms here whether it's been in Mallorca or throughout Spain as well and it really annoys me when I hear locals saying ignore the weather forecasts they're not accurate ignore what they say because as we all know forecasting the weather is not an exact science and of course things are open to change as well it just takes a change in direction of the wind for the weather to either get really good or really bad as well. So my advice is, is that if you do have a storm warning and you do hear that we do have a storm and you're getting all the warnings, listen to what those warnings do say. Don't go out. Don't decide to go and sightsee around Palma. Don't go to the beach if it says that you really shouldn't do. It's not very often we get huge massive storms here on the island but we do, if we do get news of really high winds or dangerous seas or anything like that as well that's going to slightly interrupt your holiday please listen to them because at the end of the day it could save your life So as a local, I always follow the weather alerts, not only on my iPhone, but I also check out the AMET website as well, which is the meteorological agency for here in Spain. So really their information should be better than anything else you're going to find on any other weather forecast. So definitely worth checking out the Met Office weather report before coming over here, particularly in respect to bad weather and storms that we, well, we tend to get at this time of year. 
Now, another really good weather forecast, which I also reference as well, is an, a website called AccuWeather. It's pretty accurate, actually. It's not too bad. It always gives the weather forecasts I want to see. So normally, if you want a positive weather forecast, go and check that out. But it does have quite a good extended forecast as well. It can give um, good information for the months in advance. But as I've said before, this isn't always really accurate. It's just designed to give you an idea of what the weather is like. And undoubtedly, this is going to change too. Now, as you can probably hear, we have a little bit of wind over here in Alcudia Beach today. You can probably hear it on the microphone. But if knowing about the wind direction, the wind speed is important to you, then there's a website which I use over here, and it's called Wind Guru. Go and check that out for the resort that you are in, particularly if you're a windsurfer coming over here or a kite surfer, you may want to get that kind of information. But this is another really accurate indicator of what to expect wind-wise if you're coming over here to the island. Also, if you want to see what Mallorca looks like in real time, if you want to see what the weather is like in real time, then check out one of the many webcams that we have over the island. Now, I do have an article on my website on MallorcaUnderTheSun.com. It contains a full list of all the webcams that I know of around the island as well, so go ahead and check those out. You can get a bird's eye view from across the beaches and across the resorts, and they'll give you a really good indication of what the weather is like now. So also one issue that I do have to address is what do you do if the weather here is actually just exactly the same as it is back home? Now I'm referring to the amazing weather that you guys have had in Northern Europe and the UK as well early on in September and the very very high temperatures because I did bump into some visitors, some holiday makers here on Alcudia Beach just earlier on today who actually said they regretted coming over here because they'd heard that the temperatures back from where they came from were really high. Well here's the thing. If you're coming here to Mallorca, then you're going to expect to find this amazing beach. For example, I'm up here on Alcudia Beach. There's no beaches like this, as I'm aware of, over in Northern Europe or in the UK. We've got all the amazing sights, the culture, the food, and everything else that's going on on the island, which makes this the perfect recipe for a holiday, as opposed to, well, having heat back in the UK, which just isn't the same as being on a holiday. The houses over in the UK are not built for hot and sunny weather. You don't have the beaches. And quite frankly as well, you're not going to see a sky as blue as this over in the UK or in Northern Europe. So don't think of cancelling your holiday. Come on over, have a good time and enjoy your break. Okay, so I'm guessing that the main concern that you're going to have if you're coming over here on holiday is whether it will rain or whether you're going to have a cloudy day. Now, I would say do not worry too much about the weather because, as I've said before, it's constantly changing. The weather forecast may not be 100% accurate, but really if you're coming over here in the summer season, so from between May and October, you're rarely going to get a day when you really cannot go to the beach. And largely, even if it is a little bit cloudy, then you're going to be able to come down to the beach and enjoy your time down here. You may remember in August I came over here on a cloudy day and the beach was absolutely packed so don't let any, a cloudy day put you off if you are over here on the holiday. So if you do get a rainy day, then find out what there is to do on the island. And I've got several articles as well and videos all about this, which I'll link to in the description text below this video. So don't worry too much. This is a wonderful island. It's full of history. You've got so much to do and see here that even if you do have a rainy day, it's not going to impact your holiday too much. Now, if you would like to see more about the different seasons in Mallorca and what kind of weather you can expect, then do check out this playlist appearing on YouTube. YouTube just here. Don't forget I've got articles all about the different seasons and about weather on the island as well on my website on MallorcaUnderTheSun.com so go and check ahead and check those out too. Don't forget too you can also find me on the Facebook group and on my Instagram also called Mallorca Under The Sun and I hope this video really has been of help to you as well if you are coming over to the island don't worry pack your bags come over and have a great time. Thanks very much for watching everyone and I shall see you on the next video. Goodbye for now.